Welcome back. It's day three in Vancouver. Hello, Ant. Oh. <laughs> uh, we're having breakfast. We have ordered breakfast in from Cora, so we'll show you that in a second. And I've got some orange soda. And I've got some Ant coffee. Mm. This is the breakfast. The new, the new blend, Ant coffee. We're going to show you that now, but earlier on, I was up early, so I went for an electric scooter bike ride. And here's a little bit of montage uh, footage. But hold on, hold on. He told me and Kitty he was going for a bike ride. <laughs> yes, uh, and I was. And we were worried because we thought you were going to get out of breath and we're going to need help to get back. Well, some, like oh, I went all the way downtown and it was uphill all the way, so I had to like move my leg. And You cheated. You cheated. Here you go. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down So high, trusting our wings to fly. Sometimes we're crashing down, but we get up and start from the ground. And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know if I let figure out where the road goes. That was a lot of fun and only 30 bucks. Um, 30 dollars. Let's, let's uh, have some breakfast. You went for a grilled cheese. Yep. Cheesy potatoes. Mm -hmm. All the cheese. I went for fruit and a skillet and toast. May I have some and chocolate cheese? milk. Okay. How was breakfast? It was alright. Um, I didn't eat it all. I'm still pretty full from all the ramen yes last night, but um, it, it was all right, I would say. My grilled cheese was a typical grilled cheese. I don't Flappy think I would cheese. get what I got again. Yeah, you but know. you've got mushrooms on it and that was one of the biggest issues for you and you had to pick yeah. the mushrooms off. Yeah. We're now heading over to the university campus to check out some sites. Are we kidding? in the Toby Memorial Garden. This is one of the top five Japanese gardens outside of Japan. <laughs> it's Hello, con considered to be one of the best in North America.
very peaceful. Very, very peaceful. It's lovely. Beautiful. It is. You look puzzled there, Ant. <laughs> I know. I'm trying to figure where we are. Mm. It should say you are here, but it doesn't. Hold on. There you oh. go. It's on there. You see it? All right. Yeah. Okay. I get it now. Thank you. You're very pretty. <laughs> Thank you. See, the seven story pagoda looks a lot smaller in person. It does, looks yes. bigger on that map. I know. <laughs> I mean, well, it is, I mean, if you want to be Perceptions technical, it's different. that big on the map. But it's not the scale. No, it's no. definitely not. It, I mean, it looks like it should tower over the bridge and it doesn't. Not quite. Yeah. No. Not as much. It's very pretty, isn't it, Kitty? Yes. And that's definitely not a bridge over troubled waters. No, it's very smooth. Yeah. So this is in memory of Inezo Ntobi. Uh, he was the person who actually made the garden. That's a really nice garden. Very, very quaint. I could spend a long, long time in there. Really beautiful, really peaceful, apart from the cars. Yeah. <laughs> but pretty good. Um, we're heading over to the Anthropology Museum now. We are. We're going to check that out. I was just saying to Kitty as well that it's the type of place where you could just sit and read a book and just relax and it would be absolutely lovely. Just the whole area where it is, because we're on the UBC, the university campus. Yeah. And it's just these the trees and the surrounding areas just are beautiful. Just smells, look at look at this. Nice look and at fresh. this. Look at that scenery. Beautiful, right? It was only five dollars each to get in. Like nothing really. Twenty-four dollars for Although a family as well, and yeah. a, a children under the age of I think it was five, three. Shall we head over at the Anthropology Museum? Definitely. Check out some history and some art. <laughs> We've made it to the Museum of Anthropology. I'm closing my eyes. Lots of indigenous art. Yes, it's lovely. You look impressed, Kitty. Look at that smile. <laughs> <laughs> This one, Kaz. And um, this is Tiger Bear by Bill Reed. Tiger Bear by Bill no, Reed. Tiger. Tiger Bear. It was all broken when they built it. 
Oh, that's sweet. Pretty, yeah, put together. I believe it, Sean. I'm telling the joke, you should hear it. Stay still, stay totally still. Mm -hmm. Watch this. That's very good. <laughs> he extended his arms as to you know, open the door using the force. Yeah. Whoosh. Very cool. Hi. Hi. Hello, other vlog. <laughs> Vlogging and vlogging again. What is this? Oh. <laughs> what is this? It's the backside of a bird on people. Oh, yeah. Well, wait, because Tori's pumping. <laughs> that was loud, Tori. <laughs> <laughs> Sean, this is the raven and the first, the first men. men. Sorry. Is that what it is, Tori? It's the raven and the first men. Yeah. And Tori actually likes this. This is the Bill Reed Rotunda, and it has his sculptures, which are all around the, the place. Oh, it tells us about it here. Yeah. Yes. Well, it says the uh, sculpture in yellow cedar representing the Haida legend of the raven discovering men in a clamshell on a beach at Rose Spit, Queen Charlotte Islands in BC. So oh, thank that's, you. that explains ah. the interesting sculpture. These are all the totems that they're restoring. Nice. There's some big totem poles. What do you think of these? I think they're very intricate and obviously it's taken up people a lot of time, whoever's done it, to do them. Because carving that out, it's not easy. What do you think, Tori? Well, she's been making some very interesting stories, has Tori. Yeah. I think she likes it. From the great earthquake of Japan that shows you the city at scale and how high the tsunami went. Ah. Tori likes this one. She likes this That's all the damage and destruction that it caused. We've now come into the multiverse at the galleries and I think this is just a mix of things. It's interesting. Yes, Look at this. Yeah. Uh-huh. Are you enjoying it, Tori? <laughs> yeah? Are you enjoying it as well?
What do you think of this? Many colors. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Uh, tree of sculpture of life. Tree of life sculpture. Okay. Cool. Yeah, very nice. I like it. It's got like chairs and guitars and flags and all sorts in it. your thoughts on the museum? I, I, I really liked it, lots of really interesting things in there and it's all like tens of thousands of pieces from around the world, lots of indigenous and aboriginal art from this area and all the tribes that were in British Columbia yeah. bef before it was incorporated as British Columbia. Canada's quite a uh, young country as well, like, it is very very young. And very diverse. Yeah uh, and there were lots of tribes all over and it's all, all, ab all about recognising them and what was here first. Yeah. There is some outdoor bits so we're going to check them out now. Yeah, but I've, I really enjoyed it. Some of the, the amazing art, artwork and the carvings. You and just Tori think, loved it. Yes, yeah, she did. And I'm how, kidding, you know? and, and you just think how many hours were spent carving, yeah. and you just think how amazing that must be. Yeah. We're out of time for parking, so actually we're going to do the outdoor bit another time. There's a leaf. <laughs> Don't take a leaf out <laughs> of It's been a really good day with breakfast and those two activities, the garden and the museum. And when we come back to Vancouver, we'll have to do them again. We will. Yeah. It's been great fun with Kitty Ann and Tori, but that's going to end this vlog here. We are heading to Granville Island, I think. Keep making memories. Catch you later. Monkeys. Monkeys out. <laughs>